the key step to taking a great selfie is lighting. So if you're about to take a selfie, it should be the first thing that you think about. Where is the light coming from? It should be shining directly in your face. You don't want overhead lighting. You don't want lighting on the side. It's going to cast all sorts of shadows on your face and it's not going to be a good selfie, let me tell you. Now, some people do cheat though with studio lighting. Not everyone has studio lighting in their house or when you're out having a coffee with your BFF. There is an alternative though and it's right in your house. That one thing that's in your house that will act like studio lighting is this. A window. A window is perfect to take a selfie in front of because basically it's one big light. It's shining in from the top, from the bottom, from the sides, filtering out any of those shadows and making sure that you don't have a double chin or anything terrible. So pick the brightest part of the day, the biggest window that you've got, stand in front and take your selfie. Oh, and make sure your undies are gone from behind you. Don't pick a room where there's no lighting whatsoever. You can't even edit this to make it look good. This is light from above. Skeleton eyes. Not good. Lighting from one side is practically a nightmare. You're going to have one side of your face that's going to be very bright and lit, and the other side that's going to be awful and shadowy. So make sure the light is coming from face on and not from the side. Even if your friend says, no, this is the best spot. No. One incredibly important step about taking a good selfie is know your best feature. If you have a great smile, then smile. If you have really good cheekbones, pout. If your eyes are your feature, make sure you're looking straight at the camera and tilt your head down a little. If your hair is on fleek that day, make sure that's the thing that everyone's looking at. Another important tip is to stretch forward when you're having your photo taken. Now this sounds really weird, but basically what you need to do is push your head ever so slightly forward. And what that does is pulls everything back that you don't get any double chins, any accidental puffiness. Also practice. Remember, when you practice in the mirror, you don't have to tell anyone and you're by yourself. So if you practice the way you want your face to look and then you have your photo taken, how is that not a good thing? When you're taking the photo, tilt the camera up ever so slightly. Now what I'm talking about is going from this to this. Don't go overboard. Don't do this. All that'll happen. My final tip on taking the best selfie is be prepared to give up. There are days where you just don't have a good photo day and you all know those days I'm talking about. If you can't take a good photo and it's not working out, don't worry about it. Just give up for the day, honestly. Try another time. Yeah, I was fat there. This was longer than two years ago. Is it? This is about three years ago. Maybe it is three years ago. Look at this though, we look so different. I've got me all nose, I've got brown hair, and I'm fat. <laughs>